had to give y'all a moment. Can you feel it in the atmosphere? It's a dream girl's day today. You know, so I had to give it to you. Like, let me, let me swing this ponytail. Honey, I put my good hair on for y'all today. Y'all all right? What a beautiful audience. Y'all energy is amazing. Y'all look so good. I see you put your, your Sunday's best on today. <laughs> my good friend Charles Jones over here. Uh-huh. I'm a... You better play me some music. Happy Pilates. We got any singers in the audience today? All right. Ooh, child, let me catch my breath because y'all want me out right there. I heard it's some, it's some birthdays out there today. It's your birthday? Happy birthday, babe. Happy birthday. I'm so glad you came to spend it with me. Thank you so much. Iga, Iga, I feel like Iga, oh, you a birthday song, so I'm gonna make it quick. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from me to you. Tell me your name, babe. Happy birthday, dear brother. share something that warmed my heart, the trailer for the new Little Mermaid, the movie starring the talented Holly Bailey. Y'all, I saw a video of some little girls reacting to the trailer. So just take a look at this sweet, precious moment. I, I think she's round. Round, Mario. moment like to be able to see for the children to be able to see themselves in a character like that for those children to be able to have it today and it reminds me of I always have a saying of the day and it's dream like um, and so to see a dream realized because it's been a dream for so long for us to be able to see ourselves in that way and so it's so touching to see babies being able to see a reflection of themselves today so a special shout out to Holly Bailey for making a difference to so many little girls. All right, all right. Now, I don't know if you know, I love me some Family Feud. Anybody watch Family Feud? Okay, okay. All right, now, I like to do surveys, kind of like the Family Feud, and then I'm gonna do a survey with y'all, and it's gonna, don't get quiet, because it's gonna teach me. <laughs> oh, y'all got real shy. <laughs> It's going to teach me a lot about you, because I like to know everybody. I want, you came and took time out your busy schedule to see me, so I want to know who you are. So we're going to take a survey. Don't be too nervous, OK? All right? And we're going to do a few questions, but don't raise your hand, because don't tell on yourself yet. I'm going to try to figure out who done did what. And then I'm going to look you up, your head like, what you do? OK? <laughs> Y'all ready to take a survey? Yeah. All right, let's try. Let's have a little fun. All right, now, how many here have stolen a coworker's lunch out of the office fridge. <laughs> Let me guess. Don't raise your hand. Oh, you said, ooh. I see you. Um, well, at least, no, I see one. And if that's the case, I'm going to say maybe, maybe, I hope not half of y'all. Y'all done ate up somebody lunch. I'm a, I kind of want to go with half. Half? I'm going to say half. But let's see what the truth is. Don't be ashamed. And the number of people who have stolen a co-worker's lunch out of the office fridge is... Hold the line. 19. Okay, now who gonna get up? Oh, you gonna tell on yourself. What's your name, babe? Beverly. Tell me about it. Now, what possessed you to do that? I was being a petty betty. <laughs> 
And it was a feud that was going on, and I was dedicated to the cause for two months. And I ate her lunch every day for two months. And what? the last day of her employment, I went to her and I told her, I am so glad that you're leaving and you're getting your own mini fridge because I'm tired of eating your goat cheese and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> but your grandmother makes a lovely sandwich. <laughs> oh my God, that is, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I got another one. Let's see if I can get this one. Okay, how many people here has oh have sent a sexy text to the wrong person? <laughs> Let me guess from the reaction. <laughs> You either sent the text or you got the text. I think maybe about, about 75 of y'all. Because that reaction told on y'all. OK, OK, let me see. And the number of people who have sent a sexy text to the wrong person mm, 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 is 48. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Patty. And where are you from? I'm from San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> we listen to girl. Tell us all about it. So I was on the receiving end from my cousin, who's sitting next to me. <laughs> she said, baby, I can't wait to come home tonight. I'm going to, I can't tell you what she said. <laughs> She sent, she said it about her wife, and I'm very glad that she's taking care of her wife, who's sitting next to her. <laughs> cousin, I need to talk to cousin. Cousin, cousin, where you at, cousin? Oh, you don't want to be seen, cousin? I ain't gonna put you on the line like that. Okay. Maybe you want to tell on yourself. Oh my goodness. Now how you do that? Give her a hand. <laughs> Love. What's your name? Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl, what was you thinking? What, how did this happen? I was having two conversations at once. <laughs> That'll get you in trouble. Take notes. I, yeah, you don't, don't have two conversations at once. <laughs> not one sexy one and not one yeah. with your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, and cousin, how did you let her know? Like, how you tell her, like, uh, you do realize you sent this It was me. a group text. Oh, this is too good. <laughs> it was very embarrassing oh, for both of us. Oh, my goodness. Because I didn't know what to say to her after that. I mean, I love her, and I'm glad that she's taking care of her wife. <laughs> Give him a hand. All right, we got one more. OK, so how many people here are members of, OK, I ain't never heard of this. They had to tell me what this was. Okay, the Mal High Club. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> tell them what it is. Mary, I'm shame. I can't say that. To you. <laughs> Mary. Listen, hold the line. I'm gonna let you tell it. Come on, stand up. What's your name? I'm Terrence. Terrence, tell them what that means, Terrence. Um, Mal High Club is when you have sex on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. In the air. While it's flying. In the air while it's flying. Please tell me, and when do you do this at? <laughs> when do they have the, a chance to do that? Yeah. <laughs> now, you look like you a no. Okay, well, I got to guess. Um, I'm going to say all y'all. Everybody in here. <laughs> nah. Okay, uh, can I have the envelope? And the envelope, please. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, hey. Please. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is Elaine and I'm from Crestline up in the mountains. Okay, tell me everything. I, school me, ma'am. Please. Well, I was on my way to Hawaii with my boyfriend and we uh, got one of the blankets they give out, and we snuck into the bathroom. <laughs> at my age, you might as well do it at least once. <laughs> it ain't much 
much else to be said after that. Listen, thank you for oversharing with me, baby. I, you have left me speechless. So all I gotta say is we have a great show today. We'll be right back. Emmy winner, Shirley Ralph is here. And it's going baby, yeah. Yeah. Give her a I am so excited our first guest is here. Last week she had a historic moment at the Emmys with her show-stopping speech. Y'all take a look. And I know had a dream and thought your dream wasn't, wouldn't, couldn't come true, I am here to tell you that this is what believing looks like. Wow, please welcome my friend, Charlie Ralph, y'all. Oh my God, I am so happy that you are here. Thank you for stopping by. Listen, there was no way you were gonna be on the same lot with me launching your show that I could not be here oh. with you this week. Wow! Oh my God, thank you for that. You're so welcome. Congratulations on your Emmy win. Let me tell you, I was, it was the, my birthday night, ah. and I was sitting there, I almost missed my party, watching you win, <laughs> and watching your speech, and watching your reaction. Thank like, you, you seem so like, it, it was such a beautiful moment that we all, I think, felt a part of, right? You know, like, what were you feeling when you heard your name? I was in such absolute shock because I, I didn't think it was me. I was there to support my cast, my cast members. I thought it was gonna be somebody else. So when I heard the Cheryl Lee, <laughs> I, I, I lost my mind. I honestly do not remember getting up out of my seat. I do not remember walking onto the stage Things only started clicking when Seth Meyers hugged me and said, oh, so now you're gonna be on my show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But that was it. It felt great. It felt amazing. It still feels amazing. We felt it. We felt it. You could feel the energy. We were all just rooting for you, so happy for you, proud Thank of you. you. Um, did, you uh, did you have a speech prepared? You know what? Like many of you, I have had a speech prepared since I was five years old. I have been practicing, you really girl. Gonna come. I, I was ready, you know, ever since Tinkerbell came up out of that steeple and was starting to make dreams come true, I've been practicing a speech. And when they called my name, all of it went out of my head. <laughs> I could remember absolutely nothing. <laughs> huh. And you know, center stage is my home. So when I got there, right. it was like, gather yourself, gather yourself, because this is your, your moment. moment. Your moment, baby. Yes. And yes. get you on it. Thank you. And you sang us down in that moment and everything. You know something like you, I always carry with me, there's always a song in me. Yes. There's always music in me because I, I love it. Right. Music was always in my house growing up and I've been singing that song, Endangered Species, for years. I wrote a one woman show and I would sing that song. And at that moment, I said, I want them to know. I don't, it's been difficult, but I don't sing any victim song. Right. I'm a woman, yes. I'm an artist, and I know yes. where my voice is. It was belongs. so appropriate. Yeah. You, baby, you knocked that out the water. Thank you. I was like, Thank you could you. just feel it. I'm still in that moment with you. And, Thank then, you. and then your kids, oh. you could hear them chatting, huh? Let me tell you, I think the reason you have children <laughs> is so in a magnificent moment when the thunderous applause is being heard, you can hear your children from the mezzanine. I love you, mommy! <laughs> yes! We, we gotta show the video of your kids chanting you on. Like, it was so amazing. Yeah. You wait till your son does that for I, you. I, I you can't wait. wait for the day. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. But to see that, it lets me know I have a lot to look forward to. Yes. Okay, did you hear from anyone after you won that surprised you? Okay. I, I don't know if I was surprised, but I was very happy. I got a call from the Vice President of the United States of America. Yes. Wow. She called me. And I was so happy, I did a riff on something I'm sure she had heard many times. And I said, we did it, Kamala, we did it, we did it. And she, she found the joke and she laughed and we just had the best time. And she said, you've got to come over for dinner. And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, I do. And take your Emmy with you, honey. Thank you. Because that was history making right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now another, it was so many moments in that moment for me. That hair, that hairstyle. Oh, with wow. the, oh my God, it was so gorgeous. So when you see me walk around with it, I got it for you. Okay, I just wanted to say that, but please tell me well, about Well, you this can call moment. Maria, because I'm sure she will do it for you. But I, in the hotel that I was, there were no, there were no mirrors where I was seated, mm -hmm. none. So I knew my hair was being pulled back into a ponytail. I knew that they had these crystals, but I thought the, the crystals would be like a crystal or two. And I'm sitting there and you know, I'm telling you, this is what happened. And Mila was doing my, my makeup, Maria's doing the hair, Christina, and I'm sitting there eating, talking, checking the phone. An hour and a half later, my daughter is like, I love it, that's my vision. <laughs> And I was like, when I got in front of the mirror, I'm so glad I didn't have a mirror. You, baby, because I'd have stopped them in their you tracks. You would have stopped oh, them? I would have stopped them. What, what? Yes, I, you, I, the mother and me would have come out. I would have said, oh no, darlings, that's too much. <laughs> it's too much. But it turned out to be just enough and everybody loved it. It was so good, right? Yeah. It was so beautiful. It was amazing. Yes. Do y'all see this? Okay, okay, more with show. We'll be right back. I had a fantastic summer. After my cruise to Jamaica, all inclusive, I worked with Ava to properly appropriate the funds that we got from the grant last year. And I found out in early July that I would be welcoming a student who uses a wheelchair. So I was very excited to be able to use part of that grant money to get a new ramp installed. My next goal is to get that student the appropriate desk and follow up on the shoes I lost on the cruise. I was very inebriated. Oh, Sea Barbara is different than Land Barbara. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> We're back with Shirley Ralph. You are so good. Oh, thank you are you. so good. Can you tell us more about the new season? The new season, I think, uh, the new season of Abbott Elementary, season two! <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited because so many people, you know, they wrote, they text, and social media is hot for this show. And I think they're gonna see more of the things that they wanted to see that they didn't see in the first 13. Mm. You're gonna see more of who people really are, where do they live, what is, what's their family like? You know, you're gonna see lots more things like that. And there's some things that you want to see. I don't know if you're gonna see that though, but. <laughs> Ah, see that? They already know, but <laughs> well, you, you never know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> but guess what? Mr. Johnson, the janitor, has joined our cast and is now a regular member. Wow. Yes. You hear that? Yeah. Oh, my God. So tell me, what is it like working with, with the kids on the show? I love working with kids. You know there's that old adage, don't work with children and animals. But I say, <laughs> no, oh, honey, you got to work with those children. Yeah. Because when the children come to work and you come to work, when the children leave and you you're leave. in the... You leave! You leave! <laughs> right. So, and the children cannot work past a certain amount of hours. Uh-huh. So you're in the scene with the children. Mother's gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, yeah, honey. I love it. I love that. Put me in the scenes with lots of kids. <laughs> and they are so sweet. When I see all these children actually learning yes. about the industry and how it works, and they ask questions, and they're so well-behaved, it is just a joy for me, because I'm, I'm looking at them, and I'm like, I see new generations right. coming up into the industry. Right. Yes. And who they have, have as a teacher, then, to be able to learn from you. And they believe I'm their real teacher. Wow. They ask me all kind of things, but sometimes, you know, in their innocence, they come to you. And one day, we were all having a good time, and one of the children, he pulled on my blouse, and he said, I'm having a bad day. Aww. And I was like, oh my goodness. So, you know, I hugged him and then he said, my grandfather died. 
And then we, I just held on to him and you know, we did that little rock. Then he looked at me and he said, I'm okay now. Aww. And we went back to work, you know? Uh. Aww. Yeah. I love that. So you're a mom on and off screen there, yes. Kelly. So your own kids. Do Look, they you're actually... my child. I, yes, you, I you am. You are my child. You have been my child. Thank you. Because we've worked together. Yes, ma'am. And I tell everybody the same thing about all of my children. All of my children are successful. Yay! All of my children yes! do well. All of them. Thank you. If you didn't know, she was my mom on the television show Smash. Remember yes, that? It, yes, I'll never forget that. Wow. And we had a good time. And we didn't get to sing the, then, and then I, we can't sing today because you can hear my voice. Mm. But the next time I come back, we're going to sing together because that's going to happen. Y'all hear yeah. that? I'm going to hold her to that. We're going to talk about Dream Girls next. We'll be right back. We're back with Sean. with Shirley Rupp. Okay, let's have some dream girls fun. Yes, come on, okay. ask me. Wait, what? wait, so it was 41 years Can ago. Can you believe it? No. 41 and I'm only 40 myself. Listen, <laughs> let me tell you about my moment. Earlier, we added it up. Look, look at this. Oh, thank you. I'm I remember, the, uh, that was another great center stage moment. I remember taking that picture and we were so happy because we knew we had a hit on our hands yeah wow yeah I'm, I mean I'm really having a moment because I wish I could have been able to see that Aww. and then I was gonna say I was born the year it came out yes. do you remember what your audition was like I'll never forget my audition because I remember that day walking into, it was 890 Broadway, Michael Bennett's big theater, and I walked in there and I was walking behind Loretta Devine because uh -huh. Lor Loretta Devine was already, you know, becoming Loretta Devine. And these women in the room, they were not singers, they were singers, baby. <laughs> And they was, the, the building was literally levitating off of the concrete. That's how wonderful they were. And then there was me. <laughs> and um, everybody was doing their whole thing and they asked me to sing. And they said, just, you know, sing something from church. So I sang Ave Maria. They were very quiet. Uh, I think they were thinking something more in the Baptist vein. <laughs> And they did not know that I was a little Episcopalian girl. <laughs> so I sang my little song and I sat down. At the end of the day, because this was hours now, at the end of this, they said very dramatically, if I call your name, it's your day. If I don't, it's not. It was dramatic and, like yeah, that. Yes, it was very dramatic. And then they said, Loretta Devine, uh, duh. Um, Ramona Brooks, and, and I'm getting ready to leave. And Shirley Ralph. <laughs> What do you think when you look back at the costumes? Oh, the costumes were uh, so heavy. They were all hand-strung glass beads and crystals. That dress right there weighed all of 35 pounds. So imagine trying to carry an extra 35 pounds of fabulosity every night. <laughs> like only you can. Oh, baby, you know I learned to live in that weight. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, it That's was it was some good they were some good times. The white gown at the finale with the cowl at the back, that was about fifty pounds. Wow. You know what? Ours were, was too yeah. for the film, but luckily I got to put on another dress and then the rest of them had the way it was like about <laughs> thirty pounds. Yeah, exactly right. They and were you were very able heavy. to move and like Move so gracefully, you know. Well, the that's because we're trained. Be well, great, you know, and it's also the movement. You know, what is what is it like to move like a dream? What is it like yes. to move like a lady? You know, it's like things have changed a lot now. Uh, you you got to feel the pressure of performance. Yes. Folks got to get out there, step, baby, Come and on, all of that. Hurt them. Back, huh? Oh, they mean us. <laughs> they mean to hurt you, baby. Mean to hurt. I see Beyonce get out there, and I say, you better go, girl. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes! Because <laughs> I know what that takes. Yes. It takes an awful lot to dance, sing, right. and recover all at the same... That's work. That's work. That's called putting in the work. When we did Dream Girls, baby, our work was step, touch, step, touch. You want a show? Come on! Oh, you want me to come too? <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know if I can keep up. Yeah, you can. We, we need some Dream Girl magic. You got oh. yours? Oh! I can't believe I get to do this.
Girl, now this is not any cheap boa, so you know I'm keeping it. Yes, ma'am, you better. So, are we tossing it around the neck? I'm following your lead. You the original dream girl, baby, now, not me. All you have to remember okay. when you when you move and you know this. Yes, ma'am. It's like Bevel. you want them thank you. And you want them to see that you're wonderful, that you love being here on stage. Your dream girl, Come on. But we'll make it happen. Now make it sway. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, ma'am. And you look at them, look up. That's right. Come on, sing, baby. Woo! Now wait, here we go. Dream. Girl, look up, dream look girl. down. Dream girl, smile and leave you. Come on! I know you got to do this And guess what? I'll be there. Oh, she's here, y'all! I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. airs tomorrow at 9 p.m. on ABC. We'll be right back. Okay, I hope y'all are ready for what is about to happen. Our next guest is a 10-year-old dancer who is starting to break the internet. Please welcome from Ohio, Indy Bug. Yes. You see the people? Yes. Have your moment, girl. Have your moment. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to meet you. How are you? Good. Oh my God, I'm so excited to meet you. You okay? I'm, I'm, I'm with Jim Fodden. I'm with you, Indy. Oh my God, you're excited to yes. be here with me? I'm excited to be here with you. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay, okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh my God, you're so fabulous. I just want to say, because <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with you, girl. You're you see a queen. The people, they... You're a queen. Thank you. You are. You are so beautiful and so special. Oh my God, you yeah. call me a queen. Thank you. You are. Oh my God. Thank you, babe. And you are a queen, too. Can I ask you a question? Yes. How long have you been dancing? Since I was two or three. Two or three? Yeah. Now, do you think that's a long time for you? Because you how old now? Ten. Ten? Yeah. Can I ask you, what made you want to dance? Yes, you got so much personality with it. Do y'all see that passion in that dancing? <laughs> were you excited when you found out you were going to be on the show? I was, I was like, me, me and you, I, I went to sleep happy. You went to sleep happy? Yeah. I woke you, up happy. Yep. You woke up happy? Yes. Oh my God. You're melting my whole heart right now. You know that? I'm so excited to, I was so excited to meet you. Like when I first heard your song, when I was like, I heard when me and my mom was on a road trip, I first heard your song, you're gonna love me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, girl, oh my God. Wow, that just blessed my life. Okay, do, do people recognize you when you're out and about? Uh, a lot of times, I just, I hug them and I, they take a picture of me and it's going with the day. <laughs> does it make you feel famous? Yes, it does. It does? Yeah. And what do your friends think, think of that? They're like, oh, 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 she famous, oh. <laughs> yeah, you real famous. <laughs> I love your hair. Tell me about your hair. Um, I did this for you. You did? You did it yourself? Because I heard your favorite color is pink. It is. Pink is one of my... What's your favorite colors? Blue. Blue? Yeah. So you put the pink in there for me and, the, and the, like, the blue for you? Yeah. They're, they're called the cotton candy hairstyle. Cotton candy? Yeah. Yeah. You think you could do my hair one day? Yeah. Your hair is beautiful. You like my hair like yes. this? Yes. I feel like I need some color like you, girl. No, you're perfect. Oh, oh my God! Before we go, I already heard y'all sing it. Can you help me sing a song? Yeah. You will? All right, I'm gonna sing it with you too, but I need y'all to hold a note for me, okay? We got this section, this section, and this section. I wanna turn you into a choir, is that okay? Yeah. And then we got Charles over here, he gonna give you your note. Charles, give him their note.
Did y'all hear that? Let me hear you. Just one more time, let me hear again. Oh, y'all sound like a whole choir. Oh my goodness, one more time, sing it again, y'all. See, this way you can't never say you ain't sang with Jennifer Hudson. Can I sing to you? Keep that going for me. Oh, I can. Let me hear you say. Sing it again. I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your day. Yeah. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see you again. Oh, yeah. I want to thank Mother Charlie. I want to thank the amazing Nindy. Be a part of your day Cause I I love you And I love you And I love you And you and you and you And you I say I love you Oh I love you I love you I love you I love, love you I love you Y'all better sound good let me hear you quiet, let me hear you say it again, and you at home say it, y'all. this video smash that like button and subscribe to the jennifer hudson show youtube channel check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area and don't forget to sign up for the newsletter